Well, we just left the marina, and guess what? We're heading south this time. We've headed north for the last four seasons, I think, but um, coming on summer, and we're going to head uh, down the New South Wales coast. Unfortunately, there's a cyclone on its way down here as well, so um, we're probably only going to make it to the Tweed, and uh, we might have to hold up there for a little while and wait for a bit of weather. But um, anyway, it's a nice day today. We're just going to skip down to Sanctuary Cove, put a bit of fuel on, and uh, we're out. I'm glad all the jobs are done on the boat. Everything seems to be going all right so far, touch wood. And um, yeah, go and enjoy it a bit. So uh, follow us as we uh, head along on this trip south. We didn't get far, just got down to Sanctuary Cove, blew a hose off one of the engines, filled the bilge up with water. It's not a great start to our trip, but I'll um, we'll get it fixed and we'll put some fuel on and get going. Hopefully this is the last problem we have for the whole time we're away. Got the engine sorted out, put a bit of fuel on, put a lot of fuel on actually, and uh, we're just heading down towards Wavebreak Island now. Uh, we'll stay here the night, we're going to have a leisurely afternoon out in the sun, and tomorrow morning we'll leave pretty early and um, head down to uh, the Tweed River. Pip heads ashore just before we settle in for the night. It's an early start, but the weather looks great and the bar is calm. Ah, good to be back out to sea again. Just. Uh across the um, Southport Bar and we're headed for the Tweed. Good conditions out here, unfortunately it's not going to last. Uh, we'll be there by nine o'clock this morning, but um, then the wind's supposed to get up and there's a couple of systems meeting just about right on the coast here. So we've got a cyclone coming down from up north and uh, a bit of a, a low coming across from uh, inside of the country. So. We're going to experience some pretty severe weather over the next few days. A lot of rain, a lot of wind, I'd imagine. But um, we're going to skip down to the Tweed, get anchored up, comfy, and uh, bear it, I guess. Anyway, good to be back out in the ocean. Well, here's our first bar crossing. This is the Tweed. Um, we're just off it now, we've got the life jackets on. Looking pretty good actually. Um, not much wind out here, not much swell, so it's going to be a pretty easy crossing. We're just following it through all of it. We anchor under Fingal Head in the Tweed River and are soon ashore checking out the sights. Time for coffee at the She Oak Shack. I don't know, we've got a problem with the outboard. Um, just not starting. We tipped it over a little while ago and it got pretty wet and I had to dry it all out. And since then, it hasn't been real flat, so I don't know if there's a bit of water in somewhere or what there is, but um, yeah, it's just uh, not starting. So I've pulled it out of the boat, got it up here, and we're going to have a look at it and see if we're going to do something with it. I'm just going to take the fuel bowl off and see what's going on in there.
The wind is starting to build as the afternoon comes to an end. Well, four days up the Tweed. It's been pleasant, but probably a bit too long. But uh, it's about 5.30 now, and um, we've just up anchored, and we're going to have a look at the bar, shoot out across it uh, if it's okay, and head down to Bella, maybe even Yamba. We'll just see what the Bella and the bar's like. Um, they promised a lot of rain. We only got a bit last night. We put a bit of water on, got a bit of water in the tanks, but um, didn't get all the rain they forecast. Maybe there's still a bit coming, but uh, the weather's looking uh, pretty good for shooting down the coast um, this morning, so we'll see how we go. The rain arrives just as we reach the bar. Well, we left about uh, six o'clock this morning from the Tweed. Probably wasn't the best plan. Um, there hasn't been much wind, but uh, the sea state's pretty ordinary out here and uh, it hasn't been a great trip. But anyway, that's... Um, Cape Byron you can see behind me, it's the most easterly uh, part of mainland Australia. So we'll be passing that uh, in the next 15 minutes or so and then we've got a two or three hour run down to Ballina and I think we should be able to get in across the bar there. The tide will be right and um, there's not much wind out here so uh, it mightn't be too bad. But anyway we'll have a look and uh, hopefully get into the Richmond River down there. A little bit uncomfortable but um, we're making good speed, probably six and a half, seven knots at the moment, that's even without the sail. I've had a couple of goes at getting the sail out, but uh, every time I do, the wind drops right out and um, it just flogs around. So I've put it away and it'll probably stay rolled up there at the moment. Conditions get very glassy as we head south of Byron. Well, it uh, looks like the rain's gone for a while anyway. A um, bit over the coast, but not too bad out here. Give us a chance to dry things out. The wind hasn't really come up today. It's been pretty calm for the whole trip. The sea state's still a, pretty a bit ordinary, but um, we're just off the Ballina Bar now, so we're going to go in and take a look. And uh, if everything looks all right, the tide should be right, so um, we'll head on in and uh, anchor up in the river good to get out of this uh, rolly sea state I guess. We anchor off the town of Ballina in the Richmond River. We're up early the next morning to cross back out to sea. difference a day makes. We just um, came out across the Ballina Bar, it was dead flat really, a little bit of swell on it but nothing broken at all. And um, out at sea here, there's hardly any swell on, no waves. Pretty nice day so we should have a very pleasant trip down to Yamba. We'll probably be there around about um, two o'clock this afternoon. But uh, pretty nice travelling today, even the dog likes it when it's like this. just uh, arrived off Yamba and uh, they must have had a bit of rain down here recently because um, 
a lot of muddy water coming out of the river. So uh, we'll be on the leads in about 15 minutes and poke up the river, but um, not too inviting really. We had a good trip down. The wind's just started to get up. A bit late for any sail, but uh, uh, we're just about there now. So we'll poke up the dirty old river and find a place to anchor for the night, I guess. The bar is carrying a bit of broken water, but our boat handles it well, and we're soon anchored off Whiting Beach on the Yamba side of the Clarence River. We've anchored up uh, at Whiting Beach, it's a good little spot, about a 10 minute walk up to Yamba I think. So. Um, we're just heading up to the shops now, get a coffee and have a look around town, I guess. It's what we do when we're off the boat. Yamba is a great little town with plenty to offer. We'll resupply here before exploring the river. <laughs> 